We've talked about how watching what you eat and getting plenty of exercise can help you control your diabetes. But what if you need more? Are there medications that can help control diabetes? I really don't know if there's a pill form. I don't, I'm not sure. I think that there is. The insulin shot. The ones I'm aware of uh, is insulin. Diabetic pills and insulin. There's pills that you can take. The only thing I know is about the injections. I don't know if there's any medication. Some people with diabetes are able to control their disease by carefully managing their diet, or by getting lots of exercise, or both. But for some people, this isn't enough. Fortunately, medications have been developed that will help. And where can you get information about those medications? The Diabetes Institute, you know, will let you know things along that line. They do have a pharmacist that comes in. Part of the self uh, diabetes self-management program is there's a pharmacist that comes in, and for each individual person that's taking that particular class, they go over the different medicines that you're on, how medications interact with each other. Because one medication, you're taking it for this, but it's going to interact with another medication you're taking for something else, and how you need to manage those things. There are two different forms of medications to treat diabetes. One is a pill that you would take, um, and the other is insulin or an injection. The pills work two different ways. They either increase the amount of insulin that is released by the pancreas, or they help decrease the amount of sugar that is released by the liver. Um, the injections that you take, they either replace the insulin that your pancreas is no longer able to make, or they slow down how quickly your food is digested and make help decrease your sugars after meals. Some people take one or two injections a day. Some people take an injection in the morning or the evening or before meals. It could be anywhere between one injection a day or four injections a day. Once you get over the first injection or the fear of injecting yourself, it's easy. Most people tell us that they don't even feel the needle go in. The nurses will show him how or her how to inject and then they can come to diabetes class and we'll make sure that their injection technique is proper. Thanks Stephanie. Here are a few other pointers that Stephanie asked me to mention to you. Keep a list of your current medications with you at all times, tucked away in your purse or wallet. You never know when you might need that information. And it's best if it's written down rather than trusting your memory. It's also very important to wear some type of medical identification, such as a medical ID bracelet or ID necklace. They can speak for you when you can't. Jennifer Newhoff is a young woman with diabetes who also happens to be a pharmacy tech. She knows how important medications can be in controlling her disease. Believe me, when I first found out that I had to take insulin, I cried. I didn't want to be poking myself every day, but started it and realizing how much better I felt after putting, you know, using the medicines. Um, before they actually put me on the medicines there, the insulin, I was taking metformin, which is glufage. Um, that helped a, a bit, and but like I said, I needed to have the insulin. That's what I was missing in my body. But easy to do. I mean, you, you see what you need, how much you need, take it, and it, it's nothing. Thanks, Jennifer. And here's one more tip from the experts at the Kanama Diabetes Institute. Have all your prescriptions at one pharmacy. That way, your pharmacist can make sure any medicine you might be getting for another ailment won't interfere with your diabetes medications. Obviously, there's a lot more information about diabetes medications than we can hope to cover in this program. Be sure to have your questions answered by your doctor before you leave the doctor's office. And have your doctor refer you to the Kanama Diabetes Institute. The diabetes self-management education classes are a great place to learn about insulin and its role in diabetes.